Resolve 18 is still in beta, but there's a lot of really good reasons to upgrade as long as you're not doing anything super critical. But if you're just putting stupid stuff on YouTube like me, what the hell? In one of the updates to Resolve 17, Blackmagic added the ability to export chapter markers using the markers that you create in your video directly to YouTube. And that really simplified the workflow of getting chapter markers or timestamps or whatever you want to call them into your YouTube videos. The problem with it for me and the reason I never used it in Resolve 17 is that you had to use the YouTube preset in your export settings. That was a problem for me because the YouTube preset doesn't have all of the same options for increasing the quality of your video that you upload. But now with Resolve 18, you can actually upload directly to YouTube and export those chapter markers with the majority of the export options in Resolve. That's what I wanna show you how to do in this video. Does that shape of the curtain look very strange? Should I just move the curtain? Probably, let me, let me change that. Here is a video that I just published to YouTube and you can see that I have already created all of the chapter markers that I need for this video, all the chapter markers that I want to export. So they have the names of the headings. So in order to do that, it's super easy. Just navigate your playhead to the section of the video that you want to create the chapter marker. And the really easy way to do it once you are there, just double press the M key on your keyboard. That will create the marker and then also bring up the dialog box for you to name it. Another way to create the marker and bring up the dialog box simultaneously is by hitting Control or Command plus M. I'm not sure if there is a way to not have it default to marker and the number, which I find annoying because I just end up having to, to delete that and then name it what I want it to be. And so once you name it the appropriate thing that corresponds to the section in your video, you can change its color if you want to, but you need to make sure that all of the markers that you intend to be exported to YouTube as chapter markers have the same color. So I just leave mine as blue, and then you can just click done. A couple things to note about creating markers. The M key is the shortcut, and then double M key will create the marker and then also bring up that dialog box, which is super handy. If you don't remember shortcuts, then you can just navigate to where you want the marker to be and then come over to the button over here, which will place the marker where your playhead is. Any marker that you've created, if you just left click twice, double click, then it will bring up that dialog box as, as well. You want to make sure that you are not selected on any clip or on any track on your timeline because if you are selected on a clip and then you hit the M key, it's going to add the marker on that clip and that will not get exported to YouTube. So you want to make sure that nothing is selected so when you add the marker, it's actually coming up here above your timeline, above all your tracks. Once you have created all your markers and you're ready to export the video, then you obviously just go over to the deliver page. So the new thing, the reason I'm making this video is in Resolve 18, now you can export directly to YouTube with chapter markers using custom export. In Resolve 17, you had to use the YouTube preset. And as you can see, click the YouTube preset, and then you've got the option down here to upload directly to YouTube, and then chapters from markers. I didn't like that in Resolve 17 because using the YouTube preset, you do not have the options for changing or increasing the bit rate of your video. You just don't have as many options to make sure that the video is as high quality as you want it to be when you upload it. So now in Resolve 18, you can use custom export and now you have the options to increase the bit rate of your video and you've got more options in terms of format and codec and you've got the options obviously for encoding profiles and advanced settings, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then you have down at the bottom, YouTube settings. So if you expand that, you have those same options as you do in the YouTube preset to upload directly to YouTube, add the title, add the description, and then export chapters from markers. So you can do that in at custom export and then also H.264 master, Hyperdeck, H.265 Master, and even ProRes, all of those have those YouTube settings export options. So now that you have optimized your video, how you want it to get uploaded to YouTube, you come down to YouTube settings. You can give it the title and description right here, or you can just do those in the YouTube description page. It doesn't really matter, however you prefer to do it. Then you wanna make sure that you have checked chapters from markers. 
And this is where it matters that you selected the same color for all of the markers that you want to export. Because if you have multiple colors, you can only choose one that will get exported to YouTube. And you also have options for how it gets uploaded. So private, public, unlisted, and then category. You can select the appropriate options there, or you can just you know do those at in the YouTube upload page as well. When you add to render queue, you hit render, and then once it's done rendering, it will automatically start uploading to YouTube. That is if you have connected Resolve to your YouTube account. So just make sure you've done that. I'm gonna open up the settings menu. This is Resolve settings. And in the system tab here, come down to internet accounts and then make sure that your YouTube account is signed in here in Resolve. And then make sure you save that if need be and you should be good to go. So I did this one the other day and I didn't realize that it will create, it creates one that's called start and I already have a YouTube uh, description template that starts with 000 intro. So I just need to go ahead and delete that. That came from my own description but this is what gets uploaded from Resolve. And if you want to make any changes to it, like I would probably, instead of having start there, I would write intro. Then you can just type those in as, ne as needed and just check it and make sure everything looks good. And then you're good to go. I hope you learned something. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I really appreciate you watching the video and maybe I'll see you again in another one. It's really hot.